Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, This Dress. In this video, we're going to discuss how to compute the estate tax for non-resident alien dissident. So if you're ready, let's start. So in our previous videos, we have discussed already how to compute the estate tax for single and also for married dissident. So in this case, we're going to discuss how to compute the estate tax for a non-resident alien dissident. So again, our legal basis when computing estate tax is according to Section 84 of the National Internal Revenue Code as amended by 10963. It is said that there shall be livid, assessed, collected, and paid upon the transfer of the net estate as determined in accordance with section 85 and 86 of every dissident, whether resident or non-resident of the Philippines, a tax rate of 6% based on the value of the net estate. So whether you are a resident citizen, non-resident citizen, or resident alien, and even non-resident aliens, the estate tax is flat rate at 6%, but there is slight um, difference in the computation of the net taxable estate. So here we have deductions allowed for NRA. As we have discussed in our past videos, we mentioned that of the four classes of taxpayer between the RC, the resident citizen, resident alien, non-resident citizen, and non-resident alien, only the non-resident alien dissidents are taxable when their properties are located in the Philippines. They are not subject to estate tax when their properties are located outside of the Philippines. While the other three, the RC, NRC, and RA are subject to estate tax for their estate situated whether in the Philippines or outside of the Philippines. So again, there are also deductions which are um, given or allowed for resident citizen, non-resident citizen, and resident aliens but are not allowed for non-resident aliens. So, number one, deduction, uh, standard deduction, an amount equivalent to 500,000. The non-resident alien can claim only a standard deduction of 500,000 pesos. In comparison to the other three dissidents, resident citizens, resident aliens, non-resident uh, citizens, they can claim a standard deduction of 5 million pesos. But for them, for the NRA, they can only claim 500,000 pesos. Um, the NRA are also allowed to um, deduct from their gross estate a proportion of the lit, the losses, indebtedness, and taxes, which the value of such part bears to the value of his entire gross estate wherever situated so later on we will show you how to compute this proportion of the lit as deductible amount from the gross estate also nra are allowed to um, claim vanishing deduction provided that this property subjected to vanishing deduction is situated in the Philippines and not outside because again NRA can claim deductions if their properties are in the Philippines okay NRAs can also claim transfer for public use provided again these properties are situated and are transferred to the Philippine government or its political subdivisions so again that could be deducted from the gross estate and if the nra the non-resident alien is married he can also or the estate can also claim deduction of the share of the surviving spouse in the communal property provided again that this property is situated in the philippines okay so these are the five deductions which are allowed to be claimed by a non-resident alien and no other deductions okay so they cannot claim family home because technically they are not a resident in the philippines we have an illustration john is a resident and citizen of hungary died leaving the following properties in amounts are converted already to philippine pesos so we have here estate from the Philippines and Hungary and the total. So family home, of course, in Hungary, and that is 13 million pesos. 
and personal properties we have in the Philippines 7 million and 10 million 600 in Hungary in his home country we also have other real properties situated in Hungary 4 million and cash deposits of 2 million 400 by the way non-resident aliens are not allowed to own real properties in the Philippines okay so that is why it's only personal properties so cash deposits in the Philippines 2.4 million and while in Hungary it is 3 million pesos and also um, John claimed the following deductions so we have unpaid mortgage on family home that is 800,000 pesos and other unpaid obligations we have 1.5 and 500,000 and losses on personal properties we have 1.2 and 2 million okay and SA tax paid in Hungary of 1 million pesos so before going to our solution let us first um, identify which of these items are deductible as lit and transfer from the queues in management deduction if there is any so this paid mortgage is considered as indebtedness despite the fact that it is related to the family home which is situated in hungary okay it's still deductible 800 and then this also unpaid obligation is also deductible and losses and personal properties deductible but not the SA tax paid Hungary we will add this together once we added this the 802 million and the 3 million 200 this is considered as the world lit okay world lit means world losses indebtedness and taxes so that is the same amount that we are going to proportionate based on John's or the NRA's gross estate okay so later on I will show you how this is how we compute this problem the SA tax for this problem we have the Philippines and the Hungary and the total again always remember that the properties situated outside of the Philippines are not subject to SA tax in the Philippines because the dissident here is an unresident alien but for the purposes of computation of the proportion we are going to use we are going to determine for how much the gross estate outside of the philippines okay so family home that is in hungary 13 million personal properties and then also other real properties in cash deposits so our total gross estate is um, in the Philippines, we have 9.4 million and in Hungary, we have 30 million 600 thousand a total of 40 million pesos and again This is the only amount the 9.4 million This the only amount subject to SA tax, but we need we need this amount I mean this amount in the computation of the proportion Okay, so after we have computed the gross estate we can now um, compute the deductions so we have unpaid mortgage and family home 800,000 and unpaid obligations so 2 million and also losses on personal properties 3.2 million okay so I, the total of the world lit that is 6 million pesos this is the total ordinary deductions both in the Philippines and in Hungary so we will proportionate this allocate this amount based on the gross estate in the Philippines and also in the in Hungary okay so we have the world lit multiplied by the Philippine gross estate over the world gross estate so therefore the world lit is 6 million pesos times 9.4 million that is the philippine gross estate over the total gross estate or the world estate so therefore the amount deductible as ordinary deduction is only 1 million 410 thousand pesos okay so this is the amount deductible from the 9.4 million okay not from the entire gross estate because technically these are not subject to tax this is the only thing subject to tax then after we have computed the ordinary deductions there is no vanishing deduction because there is none in the problem given and then there is also no transfer for public use and we can now deduct 
the standard deduction of 500,000. Again, in our case, 500,000 only. And there is no deduction for family home because the resident is not a resident in the Philippines. So these are the only things that could be deducted from the gross estate. Therefore, the net taxable estate is 7,490,000 and we will multiply that by 6%. Okay, so the estate tax due and payable is 449,400 pesos. That's it. That's how you compute estate tax for a resident who is a non-resident alien. Okay, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I will upload new videos. By the way, if you have questions or if you have suggestions, you can comment them down in this video. And if you want something that I should discuss in the future, tax-related, you can also comment that. Okay, so so I actually I'm reading your all, all your comments, so please comment. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!